is this the new ultimate everyday carry piece of gear that you have to have? No, it is not, but it is a very cool piece of gear. What's up everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're talking about the Dendrite. This is the large version, there's also a smaller version. This is made by Vanquest, this is part of their new Urban line. You've got this, you also have the Adax there, which you see hung up on the fence. Now I've reviewed the Adax in the large and the small version. I really like that backpack. Um, there are pluses and minuses to the two sides, but overall Vanquist makes great products and that one doesn't disappoint and this one doesn't as well. I thought maybe this was gonna be like a piece of gear that I'm like, everybody has to have, I'm gonna start rocking it all the time. I do think it's a very useful piece of gear, but I thought I was gonna take it EDC to a whole new level and ultimately it hasn't. Here's what I think about this. A lot of people are rocking these and I'll be totally honest with you, when I saw these first come out, kind of in the latest version, because this is basically a fanny pack from back in the day, but now people rock it differently. But when I first came out, I was like, what are people doing? Why are you wearing that? Like, what, what is happening here? But I can see that people are using these and wearing these in different ways, and also that they are pretty functional. Back in the day, nothing fancy. Um, I remember one of his videos talking about his everyday carry gear was in a fanny pack. Not one of these, not a slick looking one, an old school fanny pack and people made fun of him, but he always had his gear on him. So I think this is for somebody who's got everyday carry gear and they maybe want to carry a little bit more, but they don't have, um, they don't need a full backpack, but they also need more than, you know, just their pockets and maybe their jacket and something like that. So let me give you the details on this. There's a shadow gray, a midnight blue, and then this is the multicam black. Right now at the time of this video, the multicam black is running about 50 bucks and the other two colors are running about 45 or so. As far as your dimensions, 6.5 by 10.75 by 3. You can see it's got that cool VanQuest logo right there stitched in the front. As far as your materials, you're looking at 210D ripstop nylon and 400D what they're calling urban blend fabric, and it is water repellent. So obviously you can't throw this thing underwater, but if it rains or drizzles a little bit, shouldn't be a problem with the, uh, with the dendrite. All right, so let me show you some of the features here. That's what it looks like on the front. There's the back. They are using basically a seatbelt material, so very comfortable. It does have a cutie buckle on one side. You don't need one on both sides because it just goes basically slung over your shoulder, I think, in most cases. Now, you can wear this in a couple different ways. Here's how I think is the best way to wear it. This is something you wear like this, right? So it's kind of like a sling bag, and it doesn't stand out as something like, you know, really big and clunky. But honestly, when you wear them like a fanny pack, I just... I don't know what to do with that. Just it doesn't fit. It just doesn't fit into my worldview. It doesn't feel right in my soul. So just wear it like this. People also wear them in the front like this, which I can see that. The cool thing about this is because of the size. If you have a jacket like this, now this was a little bit more snug. But if you have a little bit looser of a jacket, you can actually set this up on your chest and then put your jacket over top of it. Especially if you don't have a lot of gear in that in it. So I'll show you what that looks like. Right, so with this jacket on, you can obviously see that this thing is running here. But you can imagine if this jacket was a little bit looser, a little baggier then I could definitely you know, carry this thing inside. I've got quite a bit of gear in here, but if I flatten this out a little bit, you could run it like this, especially like with a down coat and nobody will really be any of the wiser and you've got your gear on you and obviously you can carry more stuff than just in your pocket. Let me show you how I have this thing organized. So first off, you have the pocket in the front, unzip that. And in the front, I've got my little portable Bible. It does have a little paracord there if you want to attach a lanyard. Let me take this out just so you can see inside. It does, as always, have the high-vis orange in there. No internal organization here, just a pocket that you put you know, a couple items in, close it up, and you're good to go. For me, I like a lot of internal organization, but for this size pack, I don't need a ton of like extra little pockets because the whole thing is compact enough as it is. Now you go into the main section here, nice big zipper pulls, high quality zipper. Now we've got one of those see-through pockets there, and then you've got some organization here. So we've got um, a lanyard in the back. I've got a notepad. Then this front section, you can see, this is my wife's old phone, but just to show you, you could put a phone in there. And then you've got some um, elastic organization there. So I've got like a carabiner, I've got a little knife, and I've got a little uh, flashlight in there as well. Now in this section, you can see I just have a bunch of like pens and things down in there. And you know, when I, when I, Close this up, zip it up. It doesn't feel like, oh man, I got so much extra gear. You know, and it's not like it's it's bulging way out. Sometimes you fill your bags with gear so much. You do have a small pocket along the back here. 
which you can fit another item in. Now you can fit a very small CCW in there. There's no hook and loop. There's no way to set up a, um, a like, you know, Velcro um, holster system in there. But depending on how you, how you set it up, some people have, a, you know, like a front pocket pistol that they carry. I guess you could run that. Now my wife was rocking a Wii Sport uh, Sparrow egg bag for like a very small backpack style. Um, she prefers backpack as opposed to a sling bag, but this thing is so compact, uh, she might want to use this. And honestly, I think this is slick, you know, for going into the city, because I can carry this thing on my back if I'm walking around, if I don't want a ton of uh, items, and then I can also sling it to the front, and then, you know, I've got it right in front of me. Nobody's gonna come up and grab the bag or take anything from the bag from me when I've got it on my front, obviously. No one's gonna be sneaking around. I'm gonna see it happen, so that is definitely a plus. So here's what it looks like when it's slung on my front like this, and then, just so you can see it back a little bit there. This is what it looks like when it's on your back, and let me spin around here. A few years back, I had a sling pack that was about this size, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't built kind of rectangularly, it was more triangular. And that's what I would wear when I would go into Boston or something like that, when I didn't want to carry a full bag, I didn't need my computer and all kinds of stuff, but I wanted something to throw some gear in. Now this thing, you're not gonna throw, you know, a poncho and a bunch of other things into. If you really crunched up a poncho, you could definitely throw it in this and carry it, but you're not putting a lot, you're not putting a ton of other items. It's made to be slick and compact, but I do think it's very functional for its size and what it can actually do for you. So this is the dendrite. There is a smaller version. That one just to me is too small. I wasn't interested in that because it was just so small. I'm like, what am I gonna do with that thing? Um, but this one I think definitely has functionality um, despite the fact that it's compact. If you have needs when you're going out and you don't need to carry a larger amount of gear, this could be a good thing to check out. Yeah, I really like their Urban line. Um, you know, it's, they don't have a ton of items at this point, but well built as all VanQuest gear is and functional and yet it's low profile. I chose the multi-cam black. I really like that as a, uh, as a pattern, but if you get it in, you know, the other more subtle colors, it looks even more, more gray, man. This, it's a little bit hard to pick up the multi-cam unless you're, um, like on that, you can see it much more easily. It's a little bit hard to see on this because there's a big section of black, but I like multi-cam back black and I don't mind, uh, you know, rocking that to work and something like that. So. Let's hear your thoughts on this. I want to hear what you guys think about these fanny packs, sling backpack things. Like, do you, do you like them? Do you not like them? What are your thoughts on them? I'll be interested to have some of that discussion with you guys right now. All right, guys. Thanks, as always, for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.